Next on Done on a Weekend Projects, increase your home's curb appeal with these plant layering tips. Hey everyone, it's Doug Scott with Redeem Your Ground. And once again, I've joined forces with our friends at Xmark to do another Done in a Weekend Projects video. You know, a few years ago, in one of our most popular videos, Layered Up, we shared with you the hows and the whys of layering your plants in your landscape beds. Well, in today's video, we're gonna apply those lessons in one of the most critical aspects of your landscape, your front door, in the hopes of helping you create a grand entrance. Now first, let me refresh you on what I mean by layering your plants in your landscape beds. Like in a painting, you need to have your background, middle ground, and foreground. In simple terms, the background layer is your backdrop and is typically an evergreen shrub of some type that stands taller than the other layers. The middle ground layer typically steps down in height and is where you show a little bit of personality with interesting shapes and contrasting colors and structure. Then finally, the foreground or front layer is where you add a pop of color at ground level to draw greater attention to the home's entrance and those colors can change from season to season. So as you'll see, each layer serves its own set of unique purposes and there's no more important place for those to be on full display than at your home's entrance. From a landscape design perspective, the goal in the front is to not only create great curb appeal, but to also make sure you help your guests get to your front door, both visually and functionally. Your front entrance is also likely the most interesting aspect of your home's architecture, and how you use plants can either help or hinder showing that off. Now let's see what this homeowner has done in the way of making a grand entrance by layering their plants. Now I have to say, I know a little bit about this yard because it's at the home of one of my favorite clients. I'm excited to be here with them and I'm excited to share it with you. Now first, let's take a look at the background layer. As you can see, the entire front porch is fronted by a small boxwood hedge, starting with a larger boxwood on each end. These boxwoods provide an evergreen background layer, which will always give you something alive to look at from the street, regardless of the time of year. It also gives something for the rest of the landscape to bounce off of. Now let's take a look at the middle layer. Here we've planted lavender, a fairly hardy herbaceous perennial. Although it's just now coming out of dormancy, eventually it will stand about 24 inches tall as one mass, just a bit shorter than the boxwoods behind it, and its spiky, more upright habit blue-green leaves and purple flowers are a nice contrast against the dark evergreen background. Now the bonus with lavender is its incredible smell. I try to incorporate it in designs where I think that somebody will interact with it and release that amazing scent. Mm. Now finally, let's take a look at the front layer. We've chosen verbena to plant in the foreground. When it matures, it will form a low carpet of green and white punctuating the homeowner's front entrance and greeting each of their guests. It also will never get tall enough to obstruct the views of the plants behind it, and it will never get in the way of your guests getting to the front door. Now your front layer is where you'll freshen things up and get your hands dirty throughout the year as you switch out your annuals as the seasons change. Before we planted this verbena, the homeowner had white, yellow, and purple pansies, making a pretty big statement, which is exactly what you want to do at your home's entrance. The plants themselves should be in keeping with the style of your home. For instance, if you have a craftsman home, you probably should skip having palm trees or other tropical looking plants. Or if your home is modern or more minimalist, you shouldn't have a ton of variety in your plant material. Make sure the views of your front door aren't obstructed by plant material from the street or as your guests make their way down the sidewalk. So you'll either need to keep pruning things to size or better yet, simply choose plants that won't overgrow their space without a ton of pruning. And finally, to make your entrance the star it should be, the plant material in the rest of your yard should not be too distracting, but rather frame the intended views. Again, making sure to draw the eye to center and to the front door. Thanks for watching, and please make sure to check out our other Done in a Weekend Projects videos. And if you didn't see the original video layered up, we have provided a link to it below. Take care and I hope you have a great rest of your day.